All right, welcome back to the second match against Picuda. Uh, in case you don't, in case you missed it, we won the first game after he deceived when the KD was basically pretty equal, but uh, we were ahead on ground and uh, we're ticking. But um, like I said, um, just to be safe, you know, I don't really wanna. Um, I would. Uh, how do, how do, uh, I don't want to potentially let people just pull their ethernet cable out and then oh I DC'd and whatnot, which I'm not saying he did but just out of principle unless like I know who I'm playing against like on a personal level and I know that they w they would not do that but yeah but well, that's the tournament thing you know especially when money is on the line which there is you know that's how it that's how it goes. It's like that in esports as well, I guess, or maybe it isn't. Um, we are playing on Taunt. He's playing Soviets. Uh, we got the worst side, but I don't think it is as bad as people make it out to be. I've said this many times before. I think his side is better, but not by a huge margin. I think this is actually not as imbalanced as people like to say, but still somewhat imbalanced as is. Um, we will try. Get an MI17 drop here, scout it with a Hera, and if we spot something like a K52 or something, we will abort it. Um, we'll basically do the same thing on the left. Um, maybe I should pull, put this actually... Uh, no, we still want the speed to be able to land there before he gets in there or something. Um, and then our plan is, I think, to go for this and then potentially Anna later. Um, um, I don't think I want to push Feeder. So yeah. So get some Padobranzi for the town. Also get a Conqueror's M squad. Let's get a buff with it. Some Wilder A and let's get some scouts. Also get like two of these on the right. I will probably start with an L19 as well. Um an M84, let's get some of you in mid. Get a scout in mid. Not a buff in mid that can also like fire from that angle. And um want a mortar and some infantry. You know what? I think I'm actually gonna get two M eighty fours. And I can't get a Vihor. And I have enough uh, points for uh, the L17K. L17, L17, yes. I sometimes get the names confused. And I think we can't afford to go slow here because we have a fob, we have the plumbing. We can play the long game. So if we don't really get a good foothold on in the Boris, you know, and only get back here, it's not the the end of the world. Um, I think the important thing is just as always to know where he's gonna push, so we can react to that and you know and possibly exploit where he is weak. And that's that's what the Harris are for to get to gain that information. Um, information obviously being the the. Uh, most important thing in war game, really. Well, usually, well, I'm, I I also could have had a choice of playing Baltic Front against the Soviet, which could have been the better choice, uh, with the set as use. Um, but taking looking at the stack, he has only one card of MTVs in the stack with the Factoria, and that also means, and he also has no Congress M infantry in the stack. So for one, that means if I see an M MTV, I know what is in there or was in there, and two, if I see an ATGM, I know uh, what kind of ATGM it is. And coming back to playing Baltic Front instead, 
I don't know how good he is with Soviets and how his Soviet playstyle is, but given the fact given the fact that he doesn't have as many helicopters as let's say Putin, I would assume that he's not as helicopter focused. And against the SU-25T, which he also has, um, I have the Neva. That's gonna be good. Uh, the uh, Baltic Front is especially useful if I have trouble dealing with helicopters. Sang th thanks, thanks to Zeta's use and Ericois, of course. I could land here, but I don't want to risk it. Don't forget the LN17. All right, two Osas there. Hold you back. I had a guess he's gonna push there, so let's see if he can land you over here. And you're gonna drive down there. Actually, yeah, yeah, go, 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 go. Fresh it. Yeah, it's gonna play it defensively here. Put you in there, let's put you in there. Gonna drive down there as well. Uh, let's get some Padobranzi. Actually, no, maybe we should buy this, maybe buy a CV first, actually. Come on. Move in there. Oh, is he not pushing there? Also, like, only a defensive play? Put this up here. Get that CV out. Need the MS 17 to have. Okay, he, maybe he is not pushing there after all. And not pushing on, on mid. Okay, that is very interesting. And okay, I still got in there. Unfortunately, they got damaged before they could unload. That's very unfortunate. Let's so get something in here. Let's get some base defense there. Uh, let's get some recon. Get the buff in the forest there. Let's put you in here. Go in there. Move the recon up. Right, that's that went completely different as I expected it. Put you here just in case. Put the small cloud up there. Two T sixty four BVs. Recon up. Just have you hovering here. In case something is in this area. I don't need you right now. You know, we could smoke this off actually. And then move the Mechanisovana in maybe. With the help of the L17. Let's try that. Osas. Why did it get stunned? A fuck? What did I just miss? That's an that's a uh, eighty gems. Doesn't even have anything to defend against that, okay. Get some Padobranzi 90. Also get something at our spawn. He had something sneaking around last game. So there's nothing saying that he won't do it again. That's what was spotting the Vihar.
Um, I don't want to get a new CB just yet. He still has his two BVs, and we only have one before. There's the helicopter hordes. Bob is out of position. Get into CQC. Oh, you spotted above. It's so unfortunate. Let's get the server. Okay. Put it back again. Okay then. This is, this is 64 BBs. I was considering getting a, a ga gallop earlier, but I decided against it. Because I wasn't sure if I could keep, uh, keep line of sight, yeah. Definitely need some reinforcements here. Up there. If you want also for air detection, we don't have a lot of AA on the field, and especially nothing with raid, nothing that has very good air detection. So uh, we have, we will have trouble spotting, troubles spotting planes right now. Let's get you back. That's a lot of grenade launch. Let's get a plumbing. Where's the, there's, there's the 84. Uh. Alright, he's definitely pushing mid. Let's move you around. And you already fire in there. By the time you're at the front line here, you will have... Reloaded again already. It's gonna take some time to reposition you, but it's okay. Another buff there. Let's get an MI 17. Missed, it's great. You know what? He lost he moved his Ozas, let's get an MI17 and see if you can push into that town. BJ9 is gonna be annoying. There's a plumbing. Get you a bit back, actually. Oh my god, they're both potato versus each other or what? There's a server. Light rock. You know what? Let's get a CV on the left. Mm, yeah, no, 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 it's not. Get you up here. And Plumman. I'm not gonna Plumman in there just yet because I don't know what is in there. But he's also pushing there, so let's get an M84. And some more BVPs.
That's a BTM-90 dead, that's important. Of course, that kills that. Oh, that's a bmp one d Oh, there's a BTM-90 or something. Annoying, and I can't spot the Spetsnaz. Get a CB. They're spotted. And the... <laughs> I can't... Okay, that's a BRM3, it must be. Okay, there are Factoria in there. Let's plumb a new there. That's probably where the T64s are in. Maybe one of these are actually quite annoying. Oh, that's not good. Close us. American in there. Let's go for this. It doesn't have a lot of AA, I think, other than the OSS. Dude, these BTRs. Medium 3s. So annoying. No, go back. Get a hind. Oh, that did a lot of damage, though. Move you down there. Body low on fuel. So many MTVs. Oof. Actually, surprised you got line of sight on there. And there. Can't really do much with the VHOR there. I don't have a lot of sight, and I don't know what's in there. It might be VDV in there. I don't want to get sighted by them. Not a CV. Honestly, I might, I might, ooh, T-80s, okay, I didn't see them. I'll be real with you, that doesn't look good for us. Mainly because we can't make use of our tanks right now. Get some Pate Brunzi 90 to do with those tanks. They are DVDV and they're gonna kill my. No, they're not. More VDV. I believe they actually won. And I can't believe they have line of sight there. Ah, he has Ikla in there. Very bad. Those are T-64s.
I see this thing again. No, it's not. Okay. Get, get another part of the squad in there. Okay, damn, these beam p one these are actually a massive issue for me because my main anti tank weaponry on infantry is uh, part of the 90. This is one of those scenarios where proletary 90. Probably be better, or if I just actually played better with my tanks. Come on, stop! So you're in the fire and it caused it to move. That's unfortunate. I might want you to repair right now. And my MTV landed there on regular. It could be an infantry CV. I think I want to buy a bomber. Um, I can get a lot of value out of that in 20 minutes if he keeps having such low AA that is mostly helicopter focused. I know he doesn't have any armored CVs in there, so there's a good chance that it's just a jeep in there. So let's go for that. Lots of scratch hits there. I don't like the leg of ice I have. I don't think I got it. Fine. You can get damaged, survive, it's gonna be ready again in no time. That's unfortunate, I lost the right side completely. Uh, and he still has his two T64 PVs up in mid. This is not looking great at all for us. I, I can't really pinpoint where exactly it went wrong. I think I just lost many small units here and there. My infantry fighting was very. I didn't really gain a lot of value out of those, and uh, same with the MS 17s. And I constantly lost uh, my buffs to MTVs as well. I think that's the main issue. Crash out ceiling with my MS 17s. Let's get the M84 again. No, 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 no. This is T64s. You didn't drop the bombs, it's very cool. Just kidding, it's, it fucking sucks. I got one C64 BV. Alright, alright. But this is... Far from... <laughs> I think this much is obvious. Bomb in there. Need more fuel. Now he has a book there. Still have repaired you. You're gonna move up in there. Maybe we can. Maybe we can, as stupid as it sounds, ignore this and go into Anna. Let's get some. A. Okay.
I have a feeling it might be in here. I think this seems to be too obvious for him. Now we lost the main twin line, unfortunately. Okay, it's not in there. Could be in here. We'll see. Need you in there. I killed both of his T64s, but this is probably just too little too late, honestly. This is T8 is still in one HP. No dead. Okay, you don't have line of sight, that's why. Uh, there's a Sava, I will need that. I need some infantry spam. Where the fuck is this CV? He doesn't have a tank CV and it's like only Jeep and infantry. Honestly, I might get a gallop for that. And it be you. Yeah, still not looking very good. We might be like starting to get ahead in points, but this is way too late. And even then, I'm not even sure if we might be ahead in points. And I missed both. Unlucky. Wait, or did I not? Or was he on one HP already? I'm not sure, but honestly, even if we kill it, I don't think it would have mattered. Okay, let's get you in line of sight. I'm, I'm just playing very sloppily, simple as that. I don't know why I'm pushing you up. Entry in there. Probably in here, given the way he's defending this. But like I said, this is just too late anyways. Way, way, way too late unless... I don't know even. Just forgot about you. Oh, it's just gonna take two plus... Two plus three. Anyways, that's GG. Uh, if, he, if he surrender, uh, it counts as him having 500 conquest points, but he'd reach 500 conquest points anyways. Alright, we just he just played better than us. Um yeah. He's still way ahead in points. Um Yeah, I think I don't even like I said, it's very weird. I think he just a lot of the small trades of AA and MTVs and me throwing away helicopters, they're just slowly amassed in him getting ahead in points. Thus units. Um yeah. I like I never outside of the MiG twenty nine. I never lost really any expensive units. It was just always like smallish, cheapish units that I lost and threw away. Um, and that's just, you know, a lot of little things amassed to one big thing. So the last match is gonna be on Highway. I could still play this deck or Baltic. Um, he can play Lumac or I think Baltic as well. I'm not sure. 
In any case, I'll see you next time.